Wow, what a night. Wow, it's about the best word for this game in Boulder. <laughs> Double overtime, Colorado beats Oregon State 37-34. This was not straightforward, Yogi. <laughs> no. Nothing simple about this one. Fabulous plays on both sides, resilience, but ultimately ecstasy for Colorado. And really, maybe the biggest story is the continuing emergence in his first full year of playing of Brendan Lewis. Yeah, you got to love the coaching staff. They've stuck with him, right? There's been so many calls. Are you going to change the quarterback? How many more things can you change with him? Is he ever going to evolve? Well, it clicked in the second half a week ago, and it clicked for four quarters tonight. He did it every little way that he possibly could. Deep play action, first quarter, double move, perfect location of the ball. Daniel Arias for a 43-yard touchdown. He did it when he needed it. We need to climb the pocket, game on the line, Montana, Limonius Craig, just an absolute dart for a touchdown. And then how about his progression going to his left, to the corner route, to the flat? No, 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 let me just flip by hips and float it, but with purpose to Brennan Rice. Huge play in this ball game. And then as he told us after the game, this wasn't even designed. Well, there's a remarkable end to this game. In regulation, Everett Hayes, a 60-yard field goal. The final play of regulation. Uh, just a fabulous maneuvering by Jonathan Smith to give his team this one look. And Everett Hayes delivered to get the game to overtime. You have so many great plays in this one. He said it wasn't even a designed zone read. He said he saw the space and he just took it, and he took it all the way to the pylon for a huge touchdown. And Lewis, touchdown was matched by Oregon State, but in the second overtime, Oregon State had a crucial holding penalty, a missed field goal, and Cole Becker wins it for the Buffs. Just an incredible scene. Student sections rushing the field, Colorado sticking with it. This went back and forth and back and forth. What a night for homecoming in Boulder, man. Well, for Colorado, back-to-back -back home wins. They start November in a good way. Oregon State will be heading home with two straight weeks at home in the hopes of getting their sixth win and bowl eligibility. But a remarkable homecoming double overtime night in Boulder.